It's time to get some Sweden pride here at GRTV. Love it when that happens. One of the most stunningly beautiful games of, of uh, E3 2011, Battlefield 3. War is beautiful. War is beautiful. Thank you, DICE, again. Uh, you've actually played some multiplayer of the game. Yes. Uh, they actually let me play a, uh, a multiplayer map called uh, Operation Metro, set in Paris. Um, it's a rush map. They're, they're, and they've revealed three game modes so far in the multiplayer. It's rush, conquest, as expected, and uh, team deathmatch, which is a little bit of a surprise to longtime fans, perhaps, of the series. Uh, but they wanted to, to show what, what Battlefield's take on team deathmatch could be like. Uh, so that's, that's going to be interesting. But, but what I play was a, a rush map where you move first through a park, where you take out some AA installments uh, uh, and um, then you move through uh, tunnels, metro tunnels, and you go out through a station and then finally you're sort of bringing your shit down on the Russians who are uh, embanked uh, or headquartered at the, um, the Paris Stock Exchange. So that's a little bit of an urban environment there that you're going through. And it's really a journey from A to B where you go through these things and you, you start out with a vehicle in the park and you can actually drive it through the tunnels as well, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and then um, you sort of, you make your way past this and, and to this objective and... Well, uh, I'm just uh, thinking about how the gameplay is, how, mm. how the controls are, how, how the weapon feels. Mm. I, I know that you're not really much of a multiplayer online shooter player, but when, when Bengt had been playing this, you were actually very excited. Yeah. Uh, there is a, you even wrote an article about it, and it, you were like, how, the, how could I write this much about it? Yeah. Which is a, good, which is a very good grade for, for Battlefield 3 already. Yeah. But how, how are they controlled? How does it feel? How, how the, the weapons are, are there a way well, to them? Yeah. Et cetera. Well, I mean, it does feel very good. I mean, they, they are experts at this. So, and the sound something that's... They won award for their yes, sound. Yes, they always do. Work going. Uh, and um, all of that is in place. Also, the fact that the animation system is so much better this time around means that you can, you can go prone, which is something that people have been a little bit upset about. Yeah, we get Nick. Nick over there is uh, agreeing. Uh, you can go prone and you can plant bipod. You bipod for your, your machine gun anywhere on, any, on any, any surface, which is great. And it also, that adds to, to sort of suppression gameplay, that you actually, there's actually a point to it. And if you suppress an enemy, his screens get blurred and, and the, the sound will get changed and he will actually be impeded by it, not just, you're not just scoring points, which is, you know, nice. Um, there's a lot of little changes like that. And, and the classes have been changed up a little bit, like the assault class is sort of a mixture between assault and, and medic. So you can sort of choose what your upgrades if you want to go towards a more of a medic role or more of an assault role. But what he wanted to do was to bring the medic to the front line, to the absolute, you know, where, where the battle is, rather than having them hang around a little bit further back. So that's, that's an interesting change for the series, as is the fact that they're changing around how vehicles work and vehicle damage. There's now health, regenerating health for, for vehicles. And the fact that if you take a vehicle out, you don't necessarily kill everyone inside of it. It depends a little bit on where you hit it and, and, and so on and so forth. But, um, you know, that, that's going to be an interesting change that I'm sure some are upset about. But, but, but to a certain degree, it's like it's, it's promoting team play even more. And team play is, is the core of Battlefield. Yeah. And how about the presentation that we were shown uh, during E3? Because The tanks? The tanks. There was a lot of driving a tank. Yes. I think, I think what they it wanted... It was a beautiful tank. 
it, it, it looks be absolutely beautiful. It wasn't the most dynamic and, and sort of interesting part of the game, I'm sure, but what they wanted to show is that vehicles is a huge part of Battlefield and it's not, it's not your Modern Warfare style thing where you're sort of arcadey doing one thing for a minute then jumping onto something else with an explosion. And rather it's more of a, a, a military campaign where there's a, there's a mission there. Uh, and they wanted to, I think they wanted to show what's different between the two games uh, because everyone is comparing the two. So, and there are different, they are different games, it should be said. But let, yes, let's mention uh, the Frostbite engine. Because, yes, man, there's a lot of work. It's an it's an amazing piece of technology, and I think you're going to be very excited to see just how it looks on consoles. That's going to be the next thing they show off, yeah. uh, and and I'm excited about that as well because the PC version just looks absolutely stunning. Um, but uh, Battlefield fans should be, you know, very happy that October 25th, I believe, you will be getting Battlefield 3.